Praise the Lord, church. In here. All right, we got two people here ready to worship. That's all we need. Because we're two or three are gathered in his name. Amen. It's, we're living in amazing times. And there's somebody that's waiting for that anointing to jump on them. And God is looking for that vessel. Amen. Let, let's stand. We're not here this morning to fulfill our religious obligations. And, and even though you got out of bed this morning, say, I'm going to church because that's what I do on Sunday morning, um, that's okay. Because we're ready, we're getting ready to experience something that has never been experienced before. And because it's never been experienced before, we have no way of knowing how to prepare for it. So the only way to really prepare for it is when you do this. That's not just a part of surrender. That's also a way of saying, Daddy, pick me up so I can see what you're seeing. <laughs> Heavenly Father, I thank you for your presence in this place. I thank you, Lord God, for the hearts of the people, the hunger, Lord God, that's in this room right now. Lord, we just release, Lord God, freedom in the house right now, Lord God. We release your freedom, Lord God, right now. Just have your way. Not our way, not the way we planned it. Let it be your way, Lord God. In Jesus' name, amen.
breaks the power of sin and darkness. His love is mighty, so much stronger.
with somebody close to you. Can you do that? There's something about receiving the love of the Father. We've been singing, you're a good, good Father. And we have opportunity now to receive what He has for us. There's always an opportunity to receive from the Lord. There's, a, there's never a moment that you, you can't. But I believe that there's certain times that there's just, I'm going to call them open windows. I don't know what else to call it, but man, God just wants to pour out You've joined hands with somebody that God is absolutely in love with. That Jesus smiles upon this morning. That the presence of the Lord makes all the difference in their life. Right now what God is saying is, man, I want to pour my love out on you. I believe that God wants to pour his love on you so he can pour his love through you. He wants to pour his love on you so he can pour his love on the people around you. And the deeper he works in you, the deeper you can affect the area around you, your metron. God's pouring right now. Would you just join your hearts with me? Father, we thank you. We just thank you for manifestations of grace, manifestations of love, manifestations of your goodness. God, I thank you. I just thank you, God, that you want to pour upon us extemporaneously. God, over and above what we might even begin to think. God, more, more. I just thank you, Lord. I just thank you for the more. I thank you for more love. I thank you for more grace. I thank you for more favor. I thank you for more power of God flowing in us. And Holy Spirit, we welcome you right now. More, God. We thank you for the more that you're pouring out. God, I thank you for double portions and triple portions this morning as we just open up our hearts before you. Holy Spirit, come. Come now. Come now. Come now. Stronger, deeper, and wider. Holy Spirit, fill right now. Fill us. God. Fill us to overflowing. God, I thank you for overflow. I thank you for abundance right now. More, Jesus. God, as we surrender, as we yield our hearts, God, we thank you for the more. We thank you, God. Pour. Pour out of your love, your grace, your goodness, your mercy. Holy Spirit, come. God, I thank you. God, I thank you for what you're doing. We invite you for the more, God. Draw us closer. Draw us closer. God, I thank you for encounters right now, heavenly encounters where we're encountering you, where we're experiencing you in a deeper way. God, I thank you. It's exactly what we need. It's exactly what we need to encounter you, to know you. Holy Spirit, I welcome you right now. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God, love on your children today. God, draw us nearer. Deeper, God, deeper than we've ever known before. We want to encounter you. We want to experience you. God, thank you. Thank you for heaven's touch. Thank you for the reality of it. Father, we bless you. You're a good, good Father. That's who you are. That's who you are. We're loved by you. That's who I am. God, may we receive the love of the Father. May we receive, may we learn to let you love us the way you want to. God, teach us. Love on us. Let us experience the hugs of heaven. God, deeper, deeper places, God. You're a good, good Father. Let us have the revelation of your goodness even more than ever before. Give us deeper revelations of the goodness of God. God, teach us how to, how to receive your love, how to receive your goodness. God, take us to deep encounters where we know you in a greater level. God, I thank you. God, I thank you for what you're doing. You're a good, good Father. You're a good, good Father. Oh, God, I thank you. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. Man, I want to do this right now. We're going to sing that one more time. You're a good, good father, and I'm loved by you. I'm loved by you. Listen, you guys know me well enough now to know this. I don't, I don't do a lot with feelings, but if you're in the house and we begin to sing this song, you're a good, good father, and I'm loved by you. And you've been, you, you've been just, I'm going to use the word feeling distant from God. Let me tell you something. <laughs> You're never distant from an omnipresent God. No, you don't understand. 
You're never distant from a God who's always present. He's, he's with us. He's with us. But if you've been going through some challenges of life or some things and you feel like God is distant or far away, I, I'm going to invite you, meet us here while we sing this because we're going to make a declaration, you're a good father and I am loved by you. How many know? How many, come on, there's a place where you just got to come to knowing, God, you're a good father and I am loved by you. That we would understand that beyond every shadow of a doubt. God, you're a good, good father and I am loved by you. If you're challenged in that, man, I'm just going to invite you to come because we're going to do it as a declaration. I feel like we're going to lay hands on some people, but I, I, I do believe for manifestations of his love this morning. I, I don't want to go on what we feel, but I think there's places where God just wants to manifest his love. So I'm going to invite you to meet us on the brown carpet while we sing this. Go for it. Come on, it's going to pour out of his goodness. To you are and I'm loved by you. It's who I am. Come on, come on. It's who I am. It's who I am. Good, good father. Come on. It's who you are. It's who you You're a good father. I'm a loved son.
good good father you're a good good father I, I just hear the voice of the Lord saying that the old hurts of the past no longer have a voice when I get the revelation that you're a good good father <laughs> the old hurts of the past don't have a voice in my head when I have a revelation that you're a good good father and you're perfect in all your ways I, I believe that he's canceling out some of the old hurts and some of the old pains and some of the old junk from the past and he's saying focus on my goodness and focus on my love and focus on my grace because when our focus is on him all the other stuff begins to diminish he's challenging us church he's challenging us to step fully into the revelation of his love and his goodness sing it one more time can you do that you're a good good father you're a good good father
as we're here worshiping, you know, there's some of you in this room that you're probably looking around saying, what is this? And, and there's some of you in the room that this is the norm for you. And, and that's, that's great. That's awesome. And, and, and I just want to let you know that if you're wondering what this is, go. Stop the wondering. It, it, it'll mess you all up. I start thinking about it. Pentecost, you know, and I saw this today in Acts where it had to be Peter to preach that first message. It, it couldn't have been anybody else. And it had to be that message for that day. It, it was like he just got a revelation of what was going on. Because he started off by quoting Joel that my spirit shall fall upon some of the flesh. Excuse me? Was it, what, 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 what kind of flesh was it? Oh, so you're getting the revelation too then. Great. Because you see, Peter wasn't one of the ones that was chosen from the priests to carry the priestly anointing he was chosen by Jesus and told him, come and follow me. He didn't know where he was going, but he trusted Jesus enough that if he followed him, the promises that were promised to him were going to be fulfilled. This year we've been looking at it as the year of our promises being fulfilled, but we're trying to figure out how it's going to happen. Stop it. It's going to happen. You're not going to do it. The Holy Spirit's going to be doing it through you. If it's available, if, if it's, he's going to pour his spirit upon all flesh, then guess what? It's not just for Pastor Don. It, it, it's not just for the pastoral staff or for the counselors. It's for you. And it's now. Amen. You may be seated if you can. And if you can't, that's all right. Everybody got a bulletin? Good. Read it. Read it by your calendar. There's some things that are going to be coming up. But one thing I just want to highlight is this coming Thursday... Uh, prophet school. Sherry Hess is going to be here. It's going to be amazing. If you didn't sign up for the prophet school, you can still pay $10 at the door and, and come in. Uh, we're just going to have an amazing time here on Thursday night. So come and be ready. Uh, we're just going to have an awesome time. The Thrive Conference is at the end of the month, and her son, Brandon, is going to be one of the speakers. Pastor Charles Hess. And of course, ours truly, Pastor Ryan Bastris will be here, and we're going to have an amazing time for the Thrive Conference, amen? And, and, and it's just for those of you that are young. I, I'll clarify that. If you're born again, when do you get old? So it's just for the young, amen? Pastor Lori. Good morning, afternoon. <laughs> it is afternoon now. That's okay. It's a good time to just soak in his presence, in his joy. Wow. Everybody go. <sighs> Isn't it good? It is so good in his house to just come in and just soak in his presence and fellowship with everybody and see the smiling faces, and to hear the testimonies, and the joys of this week, and the things that have happened, and are going to happen, and to just know, wow, we got another amazing daddy week coming up. 
I just can't wait. We are so thrilled and blessed to have Will Hart in the house this morning. This afternoon, we already had him this morning. How many are double dipping? A uh, few of you double dipping out there. Okay, it's all right. You can just pay extra. No. It was good. First service was off the hook, I'm telling you. Can't wait to hear second service. You are going to get wild. You're going to get wet. First three rows. If there's any seats in the first three rows, I'd be making my way. <laughs> it's just a good time to come out in his house this morning and just share and love and just see what Daddy's doing. If you are a first-time visitor in the house, we have some welcome packets for you and some gift certificates for the bookstore and the cafe. Please raise your hand real high. I got greeters throughout the building, and they want to um, get to you and give you a packet and just welcome you. Keep your hands up so they do get to you. Thank you so much for being with us this morning here in our house and in our family. As Pastor Rick said, read your bulletin. There's some amazing things. Come out Thursday night. It's the last prophet school, the last one. So come on out. Hear what these amazing speakers have shared and sharing and getting to do. And it's just, it's going to be off the hook this Thursday night, I'm sure. So this is cool. Good Daddy Day. Let's all stand. We get the opportunity to sew now. Get the opportunity to sew. I'm going to ask the ushers to prepare the altar. As you're making your way to the altar, be mindful of the people laying all over the floor. <laughs> we'll just let them lay for a while. It's okay. They're getting soaked in stories from Daddy that he's sharing secrets with them. So we'll just let them soak down there. Father, thank you for this opportunity to come to your house this morning. Thank you, Father, that we got to come in and we got to soak in your presence. We got to sing glory and praise to you. And Father, thank you for the amazing season of just worship and saturation and prayer and loving on so many of your kids. Father, thank you for so many in the house this morning that just came to just not only get a blessing, but to be a blessing because that's what we're learning. Thank you for this house and this family. Now, Father, the seed that we have, we so graciously and generously return the tithe back to you that you gave to us this week. Thank you, Father, as you loaned it to us. Now we're sowing it back, and we're saying thank you for our jobs. Thank you for restorations. Thank you for healings. Thank you, Father, for restorations in our families and in our relationships. And even more promotions in our jobs, Father, because we're sowing back and we're giving back. And we're following the example in your word. Thank you, Father, for this house that, Lord, not only do they sow into this ministry and partner with what is happening here, but, Lord, they're sowing their seed and they're partnering with neighboring countries, Lord. Lord, as we sow into Nepal and the devastation that is happening over there and our missionaries, Lord, we're hearing from them. And, Lord, they're safe, but they've lost some. So, Lord, we're praying a blessing right now over Nepal and those that are out there, those that are ministering and giving of their lives to spread the gospel to the kingdom abroad. As we sow our seed into that, Lord, now we know it goes there. And it blesses them. And it makes a difference, Lord. Lord, not only there, but to Africa, to Nicaragua, to our friends and families there. Lord, as John and Andrea are leaving soon, Lord, that area, so much of this seed is changing lives. And Lord, thankful that we have it to sow. And not only so far away, but locally here. Lord, this house has been such a blessing to this ministry. To those that are online, Lord, thank you as they view and as they donate. Lord, just bless. Show favor. 
Show healing. There's such power in the testimony. Thank you, Father, for this house. Thank you, Father, for this amazing family, for your love. Bring forth the seed, the blessings, and honor and favor in Jesus' name. Amen. Come forth, sow your seed generously, and Father, thank you. Love on someone nearby.